There it is. Oh, oh. dropped. Her first catch and her first one day international. Yeah, special moment for Jess McFadgen. Just safely into the gloves, just wider line from Jess Kerr this time. She picks up her second as well for no runs. Just a wee feather through and really well deserved. That wider ball trying to encourage Pinky to score, but all she's been able to do is get a nibble on that, and she has gone for one. Bangladesh lose their second. Ten for two. Skipper, Sultana Jotti, average of 21, going to be needed. She talked to the toss about getting better. They need to improve with the bat. Well, 10 for two, they're in trouble. And Jess Kerr, wider, but she also went wider of the crease. This is part of her game that has started to develop is the use of the crease and, and the smarts behind it. So wider the crease, started wider, didn't quite swing as much and got the outside edge. Smart from Jess Kerr. And the first catch for McFadden. Yeah, smile on the face. You off this intense battle here in Phillip Island. The oh, Solomon's rinse, coming oh, through. Rinse. Where do you look in this Grand Prix market? Protested for just a moment, but in the end, she was outpowered and outgunned by the champion Ebony Bridges, who wore her what down round performance. after round after round. Wow. Celebrations in the Bridges corner. A performance of strength and power. And no little accuracy as well, developing with each passing fight, developing with each passing camp in the care of the man in the background there, Mark Tibbs, with his father, Jimmy Tibbs. This was coming. They had been doing this all night, both of them, and landing the right hands, exchanging one-twos. But as the fight progressed, the better conditioning and the pace set by Bridges allowed her to have the better one-twos. And this came at the end of the fight. Too many clean shots. O'Connor was punching back and always in the fight. But I felt it was a good stoppage. I felt it was a good stoppage by Howard Foster. And you'll see that there was the briefest of protests, but in the end, she accepted that she was second best. I think that was a really, really good performance by Ebony. She was in against a much more experienced fighter and she did exactly what she needed to do. Shannon didn't want to be there from about round three. The thoughts of Sky Nicholson. Now let's get the official verdict from David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Howard Foster steps in and calls a halt to this contest at one minute and 45 seconds of round number eight, declaring your winner by TKO and still the IBM Panamweight Champion of the World, Ebony the Blonde Bomber Bridges. In the end, a resounding victory for the defending champion in Ebony Bridges in the eighth round, successfully defending her title 
and more world title action to come here from the Leeds Arena with the man they've all been waiting to see. Fighters are constantly coming through and everyone's trying to pull you back down because they want to be in your position. It's frustrating, but makes the journey a little bit exciting. We're going to have an exciting fight now, Hans, but I can guarantee you we'll go to 12. With real venom in some of these shots. Josh Warrington. So aggressive, so switched on, so focused. Let's go, go, go. Don't miss us on ESPN. Such a deep, deep love for Missouri and a deep love for the game of basketball. Pouring himself into coaching now, working on his masters. He understands what this game is all about. That Kansas-Missouri rivalry is so deep, but what makes it exceptional is over the years, they've played for something very important. A big eight, a big 12 title at stake, seeding, all those things that factor in to make this thing have some nastiness about it. Dana Wilson at the free throw line. Drills the first. 